How's it going, Savage Life family? Taking another look at Ethereum Classic. It seems today is taking quite the hit. Well, not quite the hit because we've seen a lot worse if you have lived and held on till this day. We have definitely seen a lot worse. As you can see, my current position at a quantity of 75 still with $77.85 uh, at my average cost. I'm down today and not batting an eye so let's take a look at the other coins as you can see this is why the overall market is quite uh it's taking quite the hit bitcoin at 39,000, ethereum as well down three percent while ethereum classic is following it about 0.10 percent more of a hit than ethereum currently at the moment down 89 dollars and litecoin seems to be the only coin up on Robinhood currently up two dollars and 70 cents but taking a look at litecoin this is a 400 300 dollar coins so that's why it seems to be up higher than these other ones taking a hit currently now ethereum classic plenty of things to talk about today so let's go ahead and hop into it now first thing first let's go ahead and look at the coin market capitalization it's ranked 18 and it's 77 dollars with an 8 billion dollar market cap we know that it's currently undervalued at the moment and what's good to know is all this plenty of cash that's ready to get unloaded usd coin is a stable coin it has 21 billion dollars in it as well as tether 60 billion dollars so that's 80 billion dollars left to be poured into a lot of these coins rising their market capitalization out of those 80 billion dollars you don't think that at least four or five billion is going to be poured back into ethereum classic of course it's only a matter of time people are just waiting for things to stabilize and once it does we're going to jump back past that 85 90 dollar price point and reach those hundred dollar levels once again it's just going to take a couple of days the way i see the market working is we're going to find a, a consolidation phase where ethereum classic bitcoin ethereum they're gonna find this level where they're gonna sit at for a couple of days maybe a couple of weeks and then from then bull run is gonna start again and jump these prices back up to its all-time highs before the end of the year breaking that and superseding that now that's my projections of what's gonna happen since i do believe the bull run is not yet over and there's plenty of evidence out there to show as of why now in this video i want to talk about the short interest ratio because we explained how grayscale has the potential to have a short squeeze and they finally released the total shares sold short for the end of april which was april 30th and look at this 111,100 shares are currently sold short after that massive 322,000 that we had on april 14th what does this show there was a huge deduction of negative 65 percent of the shares sold short it means the bears are jumping ship they're like oh no ethereum classic has massive value people are starting to realize there's massive value in ethereum classic and i don't want to get burned so a lot of them exited out of their short position because they realized that it's not getting back to those price point levels now a short squeeze for grayscale occurs when it has a large amount of short interest and its stock appreciates in price this forces short sellers to cover their short interest positions by buying the actual coin of etc which in turn drives the price of the stock even further up now an increase in short sale volume and suggests bearish negative sentiment as of why we saw a major increase on april 14th but a decrease on short sale volume suggests bullish positive sentiment now there's still 3.4 million of these shares sold short so we want to see that in the hundreds of thousands so we still have a lot more of these shorts to squeeze now looking at these shares sold short we can see that on april 30th etc was at this price here of 37 dollars and 19 cents around this 37 38 dollar mark so what does that mean that these shorts are expecting etc to drop below this 37 38 dollar mark in order for them to buy back these shares give it back to their loaners and profit the difference now i honestly do not see etc hitting those levels i don't see it dropping below 40 dollars 
anytime soon unless massive FUD is released. But I think as of now, the FUD is over and we're currently just consolidating at the moment. That is a very sharp fall from where we're currently at. At this $76 level, they're expecting it to plummet all the way down beneath this $38 level. And the further it plummets, the more they profit. But at this point, they're just praying because we are far away from that. So what does this mean? On around the 12th to like the 16th, they're going to release another short sale report. And we may see a significant drop in the shares sold short. Typically, every Friday, these positions are covered, which is why we should be able to see a boost in price typically every Friday. Last Friday, we didn't see one because of all the FUD release, but the two previous Fridays before that, we saw a huge spike in Ethereum Classic, so time will only tell what will happen this upcoming Friday. Now, as for the Grayscale Holdings, it seems they're still letting go of their coins little by little because they have been taking a massive hit and there is a reason for that so let's look so they let go about 1000 of their etc for their bitcoin they let go about 30 of their bitcoin which is quite pricey as well for their litecoin litecoin is jumping up to about 1000 which is why we're seeing the price of litecoin jump up because whales are buying it back so seeing as why a lot of these hedge funds are slowly legging out of their positions is for this reason right here bitcoin traders using up to 100 to 1 leverage driving the wild swings in the cryptocurrencies now that's absolutely insane because to put it in perspective Robinhood offers a two to one leverage which means if i were to have 50 dollars they would lend me 50 dollars in margin to use so i would have 100 dollars total to buy stock assets now to put it in perspective that means with ten thousand dollars you're leveraging nearly one million dollars as to why a lot of these people are getting burned and with them getting burned they're bringing down the overall market so it's a cycle of negative reactions and this is how the big whales were able to manipulate the market because they realize a lot of people are over leveraged and there is a way to bring down Bitcoin just by simply releasing FUD and burning these over leveraged people. Now, I don't necessarily think it's a good idea to buy any sort of cryptocurrency with leverage because a lot of these cryptos tend to be a long term hold, which could 10 bag your money if you're just patient. But there are those of you who want to make quick money and think of leverage as an easy way out. Yes, you may have the opportunity to triple your money in a matter of days, but all it takes is one bad trade, especially if you're over leveraged 100 to 1 to completely wipe your portfolio. So I don't suggest it's a good idea. Now, on top of that, we do have Weeble, which did mentioned that there's going to be access to more cryptocurrencies in the works including xrp ada and etc now what happened yesterday is etc was able to be traded on weeble which is why we saw that huge spike in volume for etc a lot more traders now had the opportunity to buy into etc very good news there and i'm a little late on this news but goldman sachs says it's time to take Bitcoin way more seriously as an investable asset. And this is one of the first good news that was released on the 24th after all of the FUD. So recently we've been getting lots of good news. So as long as they keep up with the good news, I do see Bitcoin reaching that $50,000 price point maybe before the end of this week. So let's stay tuned. Now the last thing I did want to mention is the hash rate. This is incredibly important and we have to stay above this 20 th slash s hash rate which is dashes per second now the higher this hash rate goes the increased stability and security for the coin and a lot of miners are now realizing wow ethereum classic is actually extremely profitable and if we start hopping on this now we can make thousands if not hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars so it's now time to get on the ball so this is very good for miners 
and since it's good for miners, it's very good for us Ethereum Classic holders. So I feel like we're only in the beginning stages of Ethereum Classic. Buying it now is like buying Bitcoin at $760 or at $700. So this is a very good early opportunity. Don't worry about the short term fluctuations. Those of you who are at 110, 120, 130, don't worry. We are on our way back up there and we will catch you soon. Don't jump ship. Just hold on to your coin and trust your investment. Now is the time to buy. Buy when people are fearful. So if you guys enjoyed this update, be sure to smash that like as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe for more updates. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.